Good morning and welcome back to my channel. I did a series not so long ago about sleep training my baby come toddler. He's now actually two, he was 18 months when I started the series and up until then he hadn't slept really at night, not without waking several times every single night, um, having to sit on his bedroom floor with him. He was at a point where I was having to comfort him to sleep at bedtime and nap time even though previously he'd been quite good at getting off to sleep he'd even started regressing in that way and I was at the end of my tether basically it was at a point where I felt something had to change or I don't really know but I was really at the end of my um, tether with it and it was becoming something that affected my work life their home life um, it was basically a bit soul destroying but at the same time I am also of the thought that babies cry for a reason they wake for a reason so I was kind of torn but I decided that sleep training was something I had to do I started off very gently so it would be putting him down letting him cry for a couple of minutes going in checking he's okay you know the drill not really controlled crying as such it was far more gentle than that um, not that there's absolutely nothing wrong with control crying at all it was to be the next thing on my list because um, we have to do what we have to do but suddenly I don't know what the turning point was something just like clicked and suddenly he would just drop off to sleep on his own and I think part of that was I started letting him play in his cot with his toys in the day um, becoming happy with it somewhere that he wanted to go if he was feeling upset over anything I started putting him in there with his comforter so he has a soft toy which is a lamb and he started to recognize it as a place where he was safe and happy that he could go to that was his I also made sure that when he woke that I gave him time to get back to sleep. I realised that I'd been conscious that his sister who is now four was in the room next door and I was really worried that he would wake her because she really is no good on no sleep and then it re I realised well actually he's not waking her it would have to be really extreme for him to wake her. I think as parents we're just tuned in to wake when we hear our children cry but she seemed completely unfazed so I had to like swap that out the other thing was I started putting him to bed before Daisy and putting him to bed earlier so I was waiting for visible signs that he was worn out whereas now I kind of can see the change in his temperament when he's tired so he's not rubbing his eyes or rubbing his um, ears or anything he's just showing signs that he's getting a little bit more irritated but he's not getting to the point where he's exhausted he's at a point where he he can still understand that he's getting tired and he can go to sleep it's before that line that you cross whereas I always thought the more tired they are the better well actually for me in both instances actually the more tired they are the more difficult it is to get them to settle because they've become too irritable and that they just can't relax they're like well they're like crazy it's like they're on speed running around all over the place so that's what we do we every night he has tea he has tea around half past four to five o'clock so relatively early he then has his bath about half an hour after probably so let's say about half past five by the time he's finished with his sister they get bathed put in their pajamas washed teeth brushed that you know the complete drill then they come downstairs for half an hour and they have play it could be longer um, it all depends on the pattern of the day and what they've been up to but he'll have a little play and then I will just he still has milk to go to bed that's the next thing to address um, get his lamb and say right Alex is it ready for bed and on usually 95% of the time he'll say yes good night to everybody and off he will trundle before I even get there and then what happens is we go into his bedroom he has his milk and I give him a cuddle on the chair in there sometimes we'll have a story but usually he just wants a cuddle and to drink his milk and tell him I love him I pop him into bed and put his lamb he has his little cuddly toy on his neck and then give him a kiss goodnight and I shut the door 
um, well I pull it very close to and that's it then and usually we don't hear of him now until morning and yeah he seems content with that if he does wake in the night I just go in there put his lamb back on him tuck him back in and usually that is enough too so the contributing factors I think is routine so I'm every night he's in bed half past six between half past six and seven um get in that line before he gets too tired he has a nap every day of about an hour is the optimum but sometimes he can have longer and it actually doesn't seem to affect his sleep if he has a longer nap in the day it doesn't mean that he's going to go to bed later or get up earlier in the morning it doesn't seem to affect it he still very much needs it um yeah just making sure he's not too tired but yeah i just wanted to give you an update i've had a couple of messages asking how he is now and yeah good i think so yeah thanks for watching